Let's get on to the next story with Sting. First look at Arachnophobia horror movie featuring practical spider effects from Weta. Um, so I think that, you know, bloody disgusting. You do a great job. We use you every week for our news. But uh, I, I feel like when I first read this, because I read this before you sent it to me, uh, I was like, oh, Arachnophobia, because we know it's getting a remake. I was like, oh, yeah. did we, is this uh, an image from that? Is that coming on so quickly? No, this is a different film. Uh, which is cool, but I, I totally get it. Like, it's going to get those people to click on it just because it's like, oh, arachnophobia. Um, you know, or maybe that's just me because I, I love that movie. Yeah, dude, I fucking love arachnophobia. We'll have to cover it on the podcast Absolutely. soon. Absolutely. That movie is movie. awesome. John Goodman, love, ah. love his character in that, dude. Um, anyway, yeah, this seems pretty interesting. So we kind of dove into the article a little bit. Um, they just wrapped... Uh, in Sydney, Australia, where this is being filmed. Uh, it is uh, Kina Roche Turner's. I don't know how to say her name. I'm so sorry if you're watching this. You're probably not, but hey. Uh, but the film stars uh, Ryan Kaur from House of the Dragon and the Water Diviner, uh, Alia Brown, uh, Th uh, Thousand Year Longing, Perfect, Nine Perfect Strangers, Penelope Mitchell, uh, Roy Nevelin, and uh, Nani Hazelhurst. And uh, Jermaine Flower. Uh, and basically, like, the just to sum up what it is, uh, essentially, they live in New York. Uh, there's this mysterious object that falls from the sky, turns out to be a little tiny spider. And this little girl who's feeling a little bit alienated from her family because, uh, you know, her mom just married a guy and they're having a baby, so they're taking care of the baby. Uh, she ends up taking this little spider in and raising it and the spider just keeps getting bigger and bigger and eating pets in the apartment and then eating uh, neighbors and all these horrible things. And it just seems to increase um, until finally she has to be the one to put it down um, is the gist of it. And uh, yeah, it sounds pretty fun. Not going to lie. Um, I think the big grabbing part of this headline is that it is going to be mostly practical effects, which is yeah. neat. So, Luke, how are you um, feeling about Sting? You know, initially reading the title article, I was like, nah, spider movie. You know, it's like we already have uh, the original arachnophobia and then a remake coming out. I was like, do, do I even need this? And then uh, getting into, you know, the meats of that synopsis where it's like, uh, you know, this object from space, you know, falls down and it turns out to be like an egg or whatever. And mm -hmm. the, the spider shows up. I for me, I absolutely love this concept. I think, <laughs> you know, it. it screams great fun i think here um where it's like i i think we need these unique properties i mean we just talked about it briefly where it's like you know the horror genre is, is so versatile with winnie the pooh and megan and all these things i think this one can be a lot of fun it's got a lot of potential to just be like that that really fun watch especially if this ends up on shutter or anything like that where it's like man, just flip it on it's a killer spider i mean we you know Eight Legged Freaks is is something we both uh, hold in our heart. So it's like love Eight Legged Freaks. That's another one I'd love to talk about long form. Yeah, it's a lot of fun, and it's like something again. You know what you're in for, and just adding in the practical effects uh, factor here is going to make me even more intrigued for this film because it's like already a fun concept. Um, one of those things where you know we've talked about on the podcast where CGI tends to get dated really quick. Where it's like this one, I can see if it the practical effects are great and or even just good and, you know i can watch this one for years to come and you know and just get lost in it so i'm really intrigued to see where they go here um i think it has a lot of potential especially when we're dealing with a space spider it's like you can really add in a lot of elements here not just necessarily the spider you know biting and eating people i would love to see them the spider bite people and be a, them affected you know uh because it is a space spider you can pretty much oh, imagine any if they bit him and like they just start melting like acid yeah. and stuff like that like that'd be so cool it'll be like um you know leprechaun four in space with the uh the doctor who got you know intertwined with the spider dna oh it's yeah like, let's start doing all or this gremlins stuff, you know? so I'm... gremlins See, too i i would love for the, you know just saying that this is a space spider really opens up all this potential here so it's like that's where my brain started going here so i am fully on board with this thing i really want to see where they go with it I agree. I think this sounds like a lot of fun. Uh, definitely great to see practical effects coming back. Uh, definitely cool to see something from down under as well. Yeah. Uh, you know, Australia, they've got a history with some pretty uh, badass horror films. Um, I can think of uh, 
who's the director? I, I forget his name. He did Rogue and Wolf Creek, you know, all great uh, I Australian can't set horror it. films. Yep. And I know this is set in New York, but, uh, you know, the filmmakers are Australian. But then I even got to think about like Razorback and stuff like that, which is an 80s film. But God, that movie's amazing. So I haven't seen know. it. I know you talk highly of it. So oh, again. we'll cover we'll cover it maybe this summer because the uh, Scream Factory is releasing the Blu-ray. So yeah, it's it's on my list of potential uh, picks for the next upcoming months, maybe August or so. Um, but yeah, that uh, I think this all sounds great. I'm definitely excited for this. Uh, you know, spiders. Uh, they aren't my ride or die like like werewolves and sharks and alligators yeah. are, but like you know, I I would love to see a good spider movie. Yeah, they're yeah. very few and far between. Yes. I say because there are so many of those shitty uh, sci-fi spider movies, uh, and they ice don't even spiders. get my ice spiders. Yes, that's actually one I have seen. I think that one has um, Edward Furlong in it. Um, oh man! But uh, yeah, no, I've seen that. I've seen all kinds of stuff and they just never hit they always look too hokey but yeah it's it's about time we get a good spider film so i hope uh we get to see this uh in maybe even a theater nearby uh or if it just goes to streaming that's fine too but yeah i'm i'm here for sting so i'll check it out yes it should be pretty interesting 